Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a... It was going to be five palettes, but it's seven. So today I'm going to talk about seven palettes that I bought that I thought I was going to use more. And for me to come up with a title for these videos, I'm not good at that. But I'm going to talk about seven palettes that I bought that I thought I was that I was really going to love. But I haven't used this that much, so I think we just hop into the video. Okay, so you can start with the palette. I don't know if you know that I have this palette and it is from Sueva and it's my only palette from Sueva and this is matte. I don't know if it is called matte but it's Sueva matte and it is a 12 pen palette that... 10 pen palette that looks like this. I fought so long and hard on which palette I should buy from Sueva and it came to this because it has orange and reddish and I love that but I have used this once. I thought like this is going to be my this was going to be my like if I want something easy I have used it once it was nothing wrong with the formula at all but I have never reached for this I have better shades or shades that I like more so I don't know if I'm going to keep this actually, but I my plan was to use this a whole lot of more, but I have used it once. And do I look a little bit low? Should I maybe pull you down a little bit? Is that better? Maybe it is. And the next palette. This hurts me a little bit as well, and it's from Linda Holberg, and it's the Spectral palette. I really 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 like this palette i know that a lot of people didn't was like blown away by this i like it so much i think it is an amazing palette but it's i don't use it not in real life and not on youtube because it doesn't feel like people want to see anything with this but it is a really good palette and i really really like it I want to use it more, but I like don't know what to do with it. But it is so so nice and I love this shade especially. This is really really good and also this one I really like. I need to use it more, but I don't know what to do with it. Next up we have a cult favorite and I don't know why I bought this. Okay, I know because I swatched it in store and fell in love. But I, I don't know. <laughs> this is Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. This is the palette I use the least from Anastasia Belza Hills. And I don't know. This is like none of my favorite colors in this one. The um, formula is amazing. It is so, so good. I don't think anybody can not like the formula of this. But it's not, these are not my colors. I... I don't need this in my life. I do not. It is really, really nice, but it's not... It's not my thing. If we compare it... <laughs> to the soft glam that I love... Soft Glam is my thing, not Modern Renaissance. And you see the difference? This is me, this is not me. So, I don't know why I bought it. And I bought it like last year. Like three years after everybody else. But I was like, I maybe need to have it. And the formula is amazing as I said, but it's not... It is not me. I don't know what I was thinking about that I'm going to use it because... Me. Next up is a Yes Please from Colourpop. Can you see anything? And this really like scream my name with the color story. But it's... I don't know. I bought it a little bit of the colors because red, orange and red. I love that. And also because it was so popular. This is like a cult favorite from Colourpop. But it's like, I, I don't know. I never reach for it. I don't feel inspired when I see it. 
I've used it a couple of times and I like it. But it's nothing that I like. Oh, I want to use the yes, please. Never. I like forget about this because I have it in my drawer. And sometimes I see it and I'm like, yeah, I have the yes, please palette. So I don't know. Even though it is a good formula, it is my favorite colors. I don't reach for it at all. It's good that this was cheap. <laughs> That's all I can say. It is a good palette and... But I don't use it. Okay, now I have three palettes left and I don't know which one to end it with. We can take this palette, I think you maybe know, that I am going to mention. And it is Munasa from Blush Tribe. The colors in this is amazing. The color story is so, so nice. The colors are fantastic formula. But I have talked about this a lot before. The background, the packaging of this is its so disturbing. It's hard to see how the colors look with this shiny goldy background. And that is the only reason why I haven't used it. Because of the packaging. But the few times I have used it, I'm like, this is such a good palette. And I thought I was going to use this more because it looked amazing on online and it is amazing but I can't get over this shiny thing and the lid is also shiny so I thought I was going to use this a lot more have used it maybe three times that is the shame the second to last palette this hurts me a little bit to say or maybe I don't know it is colored rains vivid pigments I think it's called this was one of the first really colorful palette. I'm going to call it palette even though I have the singles. I bought and this is amazing. I really love these but I never reach for this. I When I bought it I was like this I'm going to use all the time. But then I bought another rainbow palette, and another rainbow palette, and another rainbow palette. And when I'm going for rainbow colors, a rainbow palette, something colorful, I never reach for this. And that is so sad because these are so good. It cost me a lot of money because I bought it from the US. It is such a good palette, but I never reach for it. And I don't know what... To do with it if I'm going to be honest I don't know if anyone wants to see anything with it do you want to see like free looks one palette do you want to see palette bingo I don't know I really like it but I don't know what to do and I never reach for it which is the shame because it's really good shadows and the last palette that I didn't know if I want to take in this video or not but it's in here, so it is Poison Garden from Nobla. I have a little... I don't know what to feel about this palette. It looks like this. If you have missed it, I can leave my first impression up here. I have not... I have no problems with this palette. Maybe this one doesn't blend as... It doesn't stay this blue when you blend it but if we take away this it's an amazing palette and like this is such a nice color and this is such a nice color but it was like when everybody when the shit hit the fan with this I was like maybe it's just me I maybe imagine that I like the palette but I don't because I like most of the palettes I have and then I have not like, I have not touched this that much. I did a palette, no, a face off with Jenny with this one and I really like to work with it. But it's like because not that many people like it, I don't use it. And I don't know because this is, I like this palette. It has a lot of good shades and I like the color story of it. 
maybe it's got a little bit too much brown but it is a really nice palette and like this Sen is an amazing color so when I bought this and got it home and looked at it I was like I'm going to use this so much because I really like it but then it came bad review after bad review and even though I like it I don't want to use it then and I don't know why I am always like trying to not be if people say they don't like anything and I do I want to use it because I don't want to like what is it even called in English but I like this I do and I want to use it more but something in me is like no don't touch it because it's not good but I know that I think it's good so that was like is I going am I going to take this palette in this video but now I'm doing it so the poison garden is my last palette that I really thought I was going to use more because I really liked it the first time and I really like to look at it so yeah that was seven palettes that I thought I was going to use more and do you want me to do something with some of these palettes or do you just want me to forget about them? I really hope you liked this video and do you have any palettes at home that you are like thought that this is going to be my number one and then when you got it home it says yes you, has, you have just like forgot about it do you have any of these palettes at home? Please say yes, so I am not the only one. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!